Abortion pills have been legal since 2000 and now make up for more than half of all abortions because they're being sold as the more comfortable solution. But abortion pills actually come with many complications and side effects, like severe pain, heavy and prolonged bleeding, fever, infection, and cramping. But these are just the complications that pro-abortion organizations mention. What they don't mention is that abortion pills can lead to blood clotting, described by one patient as the size of a lemon, incomplete abortions, which require a follow-up surgical abortion, pain, sometimes described as worse than childbirth, mental distress and a fear of dying, and in some cases, the abortion pill has led to death of the mother. This isn't hyperbole. So far, 24 women have lost their lives from complications with abortion pills. And get this, nearly half of all women who take the abortion pill seek medical attention after. That doesn't sound very comfortable or safe, does it? In spite of these complications, abortion vendors have fought to remove safety regulations and to disregard the research that says women have been hurt by abortion pills. But the truth is this, these little pills kill. When I worked at Planned Parenthood as an RHA, we were told to mislead the women that came in looking for abortion pills. We were instructed to tell them the abortion pills were going to be easy and we knew they weren't. Still, I was told to go to the grocery store and buy a lemon to show the women how big the clots would get. These women were experiencing intense pain and they were afraid for their lives. 